Before 6 o'clock this morning, the police department received a call of a suspicious vehicle on 2nd Avenue North uh, outside the AT&T building. An officer responded and after assessing the vehicle had reason to call our hazardous devices unit. The hazardous devices unit was en route to the downtown area when an explosion linked to that vehicle took place at 6.30. Uh, the explosion was significant, as you can see from the street uh, there on 2nd Avenue. Now, the police department, its federal partners, the FBI, ATF, are conducting a large-scale investigation to this point. We do believe that the explosion was an intentional act. Uh, our federal partners continue to join us here at the scene this morning and this investigation will be taking place throughout the day. Our police officers, with the assistance of the Tennessee Highway Patrol, are conducting a shutdown, if you will, of the downtown area while we assess this entire situation. So traffic in the downtown area, uh, from the interstate system, really, uh, and in the immediate downtown area, is going to be restricted as our teams attempt to assess exactly what's taken place, uh, who may be involved, et cetera. Uh, that's all the information I have for you at this point. Uh, we will do another update when we know more, uh, certainly in the next uh, hour or so. Uh, at this point, Joseph Pleasant from the Nashville Fire Department can talk about the response from his team. Good morning. As you can see, we have a significant response from our Fire Suppression Bureau as well as our EMS division. We have uh, multiple personnel here from our HAZMAT team as well as our Special Operations Division working uh, to support our uh, local, state, and federal partners. Right now, we can report we've made three transports to area hospitals. None of those transports at this point are critical. Uh, two of those uh, people went to uh, Centennial. Uh, one of those persons went to Vanderbilt University Medical Center. We do have a special EMS division set up right now to monitor the situation. Uh, once again, we are asking everyone uh, to be mindful of the active ongoing situation here and to give our people uh, space to work in. Uh, but once again, right now, we don't have any significant injuries to report. Thank you.